Welcome to Market Movers, where we identify market moving headlines and discuss ways to either hedge risk or create exposure to affected assets. Uh, we have Scott Martin. Hi, Jim. So, Scott, biggest headlines. We have job numbers coming up on Friday. We saw ADP numbers on Wednesday. Uh, another round of stimulus being talked about. And we have gold and silver exploding higher. What's catching your attention? Well, Jim, I think it's actually all three, but in different phases in the sense of, yes, we're anxiously awaiting the jobs numbers, which have continued to improve since we saw the terrible numbers back in the spring. The stimulus is certainly a large thing, I believe, both for the equity markets and even fixed income to some degree. But to your final point there, certainly that is showing up, in my opinion, in some of the metals, gold and silver, as more stimulus is provided, more liquidity even provided by the Federal Reserve, that's pushing up metal prices. Okay, and metal prices then. And when you see the movement in, in gold and silver, do you think it's more of a commentary on cavalier currency policy or the fact that potentially we're going to get negative rates? I don't think we're going to get negative rates. I, I think it is somewhat, uh, to use your word, cavalier currency policy or just the policy to devalue the currency a little bit, especially given all the multinational company exposure that exists in the S&P or in the ES index. However, Jim, it's also one of those things where there is a massive stimulus going on just not only in the United States but around the world. And it's a little bit of a fear trade or, say, a hedge trade with respect to how metals are behaving vis-a-vis, -vis, say, the 10 years ZN or the ES or the NQs. With you. I'm long both gold and silver. We've talked about it on, on Twitter a million times. Uh, the CME has the, the regular contract in gold and silver. They have a liquid micro contract in both. And they have weekly and monthly options in both gold and silver. On to equities. We went through tech earnings. Um, they they satisfy. They, you know, some were even you know quite good. Does this reaffirm and green light their leadership in the stock rally? I believe it goes to show you how you should weigh expectations versus results as a trader or investor. We talked about market mover on market movers previously, Jim, in the tech earnings preview about how tech had started to languish a little bit as far as the stocks themselves. And what that setup basically led us to see, I believed, was that better than expected numbers, whether it was on earnings or revenues, were likely going to be re received by the markets a little bit better than maybe they would have if tech had continued to rally into those data releases. So as tech pulled back, the expectations pulled back. And then as you noted, those expectations and those results blew it away. Okay. Yeah, exactly. I ag agree with most of what you said. I think the green light app, and I think they're still the leaders because I still think they're benefiting from the uh, you know flight to quality and the stay at home trade. The CME has uh, the mini contract and the micro contract in NASDAQ, S&P, Dow, and Russell. Also, uh, they also have the micro contract in both, highly liquid, on August 30th, launching a micro options contract in both the S&P and the NASDAQ also have the regular options uh, weekly, monthly, and quarterly. Okay, Euro and British pound have exploded higher. Um, is that a commentary on Europe doing a better job in reopening or the fact that the United States is doing a better job on flooding the market with liquidity? Well, it's both. I mean, Europe has seen better COVID-related numbers of late versus the U.S. However, it's also the fact, too, that the U.S., in my opinion, is a little bit more committed to more stimulus than, say, the ECB is, for example. So when you look at those currencies together, mixing in the British pound, as you noted, that's why I believe you're seeing such a depreciation in the U.S. dollar versus those other two. Yeah, I mean, and I, I got out of my euro longs. I'm not sure it was the right time. I had made some money on that. We talked about these last week. Um, I still think probably the dollar goes lower. Uh, thank you for joining us on Market Movers, where we are helping to make you a better trader.